In this tutorial, we will guide you on how to create a watercolor effect in Adobe Premiere. For this tutorial, we will be using the add-on named Boris. You can download the add-on by logging on to borisfx.com and moving to the Premiere Pro section. We will be using the Boris Continuum Complete Package, which comes with a wide variety of video effects, including the watercolor effect. You can download the trial version from here or purchase the plugin and install it on your system. Moving to Adobe Premiere, this is the basic footage we will be working with. If you have installed the Boris Continuum Package, simply move to the Effect panel and type Water. From the results, you can see the BCC Watercolor Video Effect over here. BCC stands for Boris Continuum Complete. Simply drag and drop the effect on the video layer. As the effect is applied, you can see the output of the clip in the preview window. Let's tone the effect properly by changing the default values to better suit the clip we're working on. For that, let's move to the Effect Control Panel towards the left side and change the value of Boost Contrast to 10. After that, let's increase the Soften option to 2. This will set the mood of the scene. Now you can see the Cartoon option over here, which is used to convert the scene into a 2D animated clip. Over here, we will reduce the Cartoon Mix to 40 and Cartoon Levels to 10. This will smooth out the scene while keeping the watercolor effect in place. The Line Style option will show you three options according to the width of the sketched lines. For this tutorial, we will select the Medium option. The Line Threshold option will set the base threshold value for the lines. Increasing the amount will result in a cleaner result. For this particular scene, we will set it to 6. Line Width is used to attenuate the width of the lines. 10 would be a suitable value for this scene. Next, the Line Soften option controls the softness of the pencil lead. The higher the values, the softer the lines. For this scene, we will keep this option at 4. The Paint Mix option is used to blend the watercolor paint. High values result in a more watercolor paint look, while low values generate a more cartoon style look. So for this tutorial, we will keep the value at 90. Finally, the White Boost pushes the pixel values in the image towards white. Higher values bring more white into the image. Over here, we will keep it to 15. You can play around with these options and try out different values according to your clip. Now let's render the sequence and preview the results. And there you have it. We have successfully applied the watercolor effect on the clip in Adobe Premiere. You can also open up the side-by-side -side comparison mode to clearly see the before and after effect. Over here, you can see the difference between the original clip and the animated watercolor effect. Thanks for watching. This was a howtech.tv tutorial.